WGN's Jewel Hillary is live in Ravenswood with the latest Jewel. Hi, Jackie and Simone. We're at the intersection of Ravenswood and Foster, where tow truck drivers have been busy all day rescuing drivers who underestimated the depth of the flood water behind us. Now, for the past couple of hours, a city water management crew has been out here, and while there is still a lot of water under this viaduct behind us, we are now just recently, in the past 30 minutes or so, starting to see a decline. Getting stuck under a viaduct and flood water isn't how Michael Cozy thought he'd spend his Sunday afternoon. I saw cars going in front of me. I thought I could make it. Within seconds, a tow truck driver parked at Foster and Ravenswood. I was in the store watching this car and I go, no, he's not going to do this, but he did it anyway. Pulled Cozy and his car to dry ground. The ordeal understandably dampened this Buffalo Grove resident's spirits. How are you feeling right now? Not real good. You know, I'm uh, far from home and uh, I'm worried about the car now being totaled. Several drivers risked passing through the viaduct, but this 92 Foster bus played it safe. And earlier in the day, a few blocks south on Lawrence. The Citizen app captured video of several vehicles stranded in high water under and around another viaduct. Further west at Cicero and Sunnyside, drivers found themselves in a similar situation, some taking a chance while others turned around. And this rainy mess isn't just overflowing streets, but also getting into homes, leaving many people with inches of water in and around their houses. Back at Foster and Ravenswood. This is crazy. Any little bit of water gets here, it blocks up. Tony Banky Schroeder, who flew in from California, took a drive to visit her old neighborhood, but knew it wasn't worth getting stuck in a mess. Yeah, I'm not going to go through it. Not with my niece's car, then I want to buy a car here. As for Cozy, he just might be out of luck. If they can't get it started, it could be a total, yeah. And that would be most unfortunate because I need to get around. Well, something that I've always been told is to turn around, don't drown, and to play it safe because standing water often looks more shallow than it actually is. Now, for Chicago residents who need to report flooding, traffic outages, or tree debris in their neighborhoods, uh, the city is encouraging you to make those reports at the 311.chicago.gov website. You can also download the Shy 311 app. For now, reporting live on the north side, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Flooding everywhere. Thank you, Jewel.